When I was six years old, and I started getting this attack, even when I'm walking, it's calm. If I'm doing anything, it's calm. Then it was tough for me. So at times, I sit down and talk to myself, who will get married to me with this problem? Không biết là mọi người các bạn đi cùng mình bảo sao lại bạn lại cứ lao xuống đấy đi không đi mà lại cứ lao bảo nhưng mà mình không biết gì cả mình cứ thế là đi thôi mà mình bị ngã mình không biết gì cả còn đâu là bây giờ thì mình cứ thế mình đi đường thẳng của mình còn bây giờ không biết là mình ngã hay gì để một thời gian thì em đã phải đi lên bệnh viện để khám thế nên là để các bác sĩ khám cho về bệnh tật vất vả cho bố mẹ thế nên là hơi khó khăn để cho bố mẹ để chi phí Francisca and Hao are two people living with epilepsy, a medical condition which affects more than 50 million people worldwide. Epilepsy is a chronic brain disorder characterized by recurrent seizures, which are brief disturbances in the electrical functions of the brain. More than three quarters of people with epilepsy live in low and middle income countries, where up to 75% go untreated. This is what is called the epilepsy treatment gap. Việt Nam trần đoán điều trị tại bệnh viện thì không có vấn đề gì nhưng tại cộng đồng quản lý điều trị tại cộng đồng nó cũng gặp nhiều khó khăn. Cái khó khăn thứ nhất là nguồn nhân lực thiếu ở cộng đồng, ở nhất là các cái tỉnh vùng sâu vùng xa các cái tỉnh miền núi. Khó khăn thứ hai là người bệnh không nhận thức được gia đình người bệnh không nhận thức được toàn bộ những các cái dạng động kinh để đến với chuyên ngành tâm thần người ta chỉ nhận thức được là cái bệnh động kinh co giật thế còn các cái dạng khác là không đến cái thứ ba là người ta đến với chuyên khoa tâm thần bị kỳ thị cho nên người ta cũng ngại đến chuyên khoa tâm thần a lot of people still think epilepsy is contagious epilepsy is not treatable and there's very poor access to medications and access to health personnel we have a very high treatment gap and we have lots of problems with managing our patients with epilepsy. Epilepsy is a disorder that can be easily treated with daily medication that costs as little as five US dollars per year. 70% of people who take medication can be seizure-free within two years. Initiated in 2012, the WHO program for reducing the epilepsy treatment gap combines several innovative strategies to mobilize healthcare workers and communities to better support people with epilepsy. The program has led to successful demonstration projects in four countries, including Ghana and Vietnam. For the World Health Organization, epilepsy is a public health priority. The epilepsy resolution endorsed by World Health Assembly in 2015 gives an additional mandate to WHO to work actively in this area and to support countries to develop policies and plans, capacity building for health workforce and strengthen the systems. WHO has developed evidence-based guidance, the MHCAP guidelines, tools and care packages to strengthen epilepsy management within the primary healthcare system and by training non-specialist healthcare providers, such as doctors, nurses, midwives, and many others. WHO's mental health gap methodology and training tools are adapted to specific language and cultural contexts, allowing the program to be replicated in any country's healthcare system. Vietnam's Ministry of Health, together with WHO, initially piloted the program in two provinces, with the aim of strengthening existing resources at the district and community levels. It now integrates epilepsy care with other services for non-communicable diseases, ensuring long-term sustainability. The epilepsy project in Vietnam was carried out in 82 communes, covering 500,000 people and over 200 community-level healthcare workers were trained to diagnose and manage epilepsy at the level of commune station. This has led to a reduction in epilepsy treatment gap by 20%. Được biết là công ty chi phí về các khoản thuốc men cho những người bị bệnh động kinh nên là em mong sao là công ty có thể là làm thế nào mà để hỗ trợ cho những mọi người người bệnh động kinh như em để được đỡ đi một phần giảm bớt cuộc sống và giảm bớt 
In partnership with WHO, the Ghana Ministry of Health initially piloted the program over a larger scale and incorporated traditional and faith healers in their community outreach strategy. One of our biggest problems in Ghana is how do we reduce stigma? The only way we can do that is education of our own health professionals, education in their community, education in our churches, education in schools, and education in lots of places. I manage eight patients in a community of our health. I don't have any knowledge about epilepsy at that time until the WHO members from Accra came to the district to train the community nurses. Then I moved into the community to find out those who have the epilepsy and I met their family, then trained them. In Ghana, over 700 non-specialist healthcare providers have been trained to diagnose and manage epilepsy. This means that over 4,000 people have been able to access treatment, leading to a reduction in the treatment gap by one third. So right now I have two girls. They know what is wrong with me. If I get attacked, they help me. And sometimes too, they remember me to take my medicine. Despite the gains, much more needs to be done. All WHO member states need to commit and invest resources to improve access to medication, to reduce stigma and discrimination, and to strengthen health systems. WHO is here to support countries to treat and defeat epilepsy. All over the world, collaboration is the key because treating epilepsy can change lives. The sky is the limit.